In this video, we are going to craft an extremely broken build using the Godzess Greatsword with the spinning gravity thrust of war to easily obliterate the entire DLC. Everyone knows and loves the Greatsword for being incredibly similar to the Dragon Slayer from Berserk, but I hear no one talking about the destructive power of the spinning gravity thrust skill. It is an extraordinary ability to deal an insane amount of damage by quickly building up any status effect, making it remarkably useful for a highly effective bleed build. This Sash of War deals multiple hits in a very short time window, easily reaching the max stages of the successive attacks buffs, dramatically multiplying our final damage. It also deals decent stance damage, allowing us to use it strategically and pull off the entire skill without taking any damage. For some reason I can barely understand, the Greatsword with the Blood Affinity gets a very good bleed build up, proking bleed in just a few hits. In addition, it maintains a great V scaling with the strength, therefore we are going to use a solid strength and arcane build to maximize the damage output of this character. Combining these weapon's properties with the nature of a spinning gravity thrust, we can become a relentless power drill deleting our target's HP bars at the speed of light. If that was not enough, the hyper armor you will get while performing the skill makes it very hard to get interrupted, even by the strongest enemy attacks. However, you will still take damage. That's why, from my perspective, it is an extraordinary ability as long as you use it with decent knowledge of the enemy you are fighting. Otherwise, even if you are dealing tons of damage, you are going to get destroyed as well or in the worst case scenario, sent directly to the last grace you visited. That's why, as I previously mentioned, making a mindful use of the stance damage can significantly increase the potential of this ability. It is important to mention that in some cases, if you are not close enough to your target, you will miss, so your damage will be very low. If you are too close, the same thing will happen. For that reason, if you don't feel comfortable with the great sword, you can use this ability with the sword lance and many other weapons too, but be aware that your damage might not be the same. As you can see, this combo requires a bit of overall game knowledge to get the most out of it, but once you get used to its features and how it works, you will end up loving it. I was about to give up on this skill until I found a good way to use it. In my opinion, under the rise setup and with enough practice, it is one of the most fun and powerful Ashes of War in the Land of Shadow. First of all, I'm going to show you the build, and then we will beat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Great Sword on Plus 25 with the Spinning Gravity Thrust Dash of War on the Bleed Affinity, and we need any skill we have available to cast our main buffs. If you want, you can use any weapon with the Seppuku Ash of War to activate the bleed buffs before starting the match. I also recommend you to use any weapon with the Raptor Optimist Ash of War to be able to dodge the Radan's light explosion attack with this. And I'm going to be using the Uchigatan on plus 25 with the Crack Blade Ash of War on the Heavy Affinity to help me with the stance damage on enemies that are extremely fast where using the Greysword is a little bit more complicated. But this one is completely optional, as you can see I have my Carter on heavy load, so if I want to use this weapon I have to remove my dagger and my short sword. We are going to use 3 pieces of the Rakshasa's armor set to increase or damage by a total of 6% and the white mask for a 10% damage buff with each bleed proc. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Millicent's Prosthesis, the Rolling Winds or Insignia and the Shard of Alexander. In our Flask of Wonders Physic we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. This is the best combo you can use if you want to deal the max damage possible, but if you don't want to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear then you can use the Stone Barb Crack Tear, with this build is going to be extremely useful because using the skill is a lot easier when you break the stance of your targets. With this weapon we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why our best body buff is going to be Blood Bowl Aromatic, but if you don't like crafting, feel free to use Flame Grand Me Strength. This build devours stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Torten Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 20 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 80 on Strength, 12 on Dexterity, 25 on Faith, and 45 on Arcane. Golden Vow and Flame Grand Me Strength are going to be our main buffs, and if you want to proc bleed faster, you can use the Swarm of Flies. This incantation is very useful and as you can see we met the requirements to use it as much as we wish. I have my Escadotry Blessing on the level 20 and if you want to deal the max amount of damage possible to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. Now I will show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Wonders Physic, then you are going to cast Golden Vow and you are going to use your Pickle Torten Leg. Then you are going to use your Body Buff, in this case I'm going to use Blood Bowl Aromatic but feel free to use Flame Grand Me Strength. You are going to two hand your weapon, refit your your FP and your HP and with that you are ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? That's a great start I guess. Hmm. Okay, no way. Yeah, I'll try to deal as much stance damage as it's possible.
Come on. Come on. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Come on, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on. That should be enough, guys. That needs to be enough. Come on. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Come on. <laughs> nice. This is very good. Okay. Nice. Come on. Come on! There he is. Hey there, homie. Nice hit. Um, I love that attack. It's a free heavy hit. And another free heavy hit here. Oh my god, he's getting destroyed today. Get him. Oh my god, we got destroyed! 